And our cars are taking a pounding as potholes continue to plague our roads. You've reached out to us with questions, so we took those to TDOT. Peyton joins us near I-24 downtown with some of their answers. Yeah, and their crews have been busy because TDOT says we had the perfect storm for the creation of potholes, that extreme freeze and then thaw cycle. But a question is, why can't TDOT's crews get to the potholes faster? Well, on a normal day in Davidson County alone, TDOT says they have two to three crews out working, and it takes at least two crews to repair potholes, one for the actual patching and one for safety. So that's the majority of the day's team who are only able to do so much much in one day. TDOT says they are using a contractor to work on secondary routes while their crews focus on the interstates. Another question, how does TDOT find potholes? We're told it's a combination of ways. They may spot a formation while out on their routes, but they do rely heavily on the traffic management center. Those are the same people behind the Smartway map and the help trucks. They also rely on the public. We have thousands of road miles in our 26 counties. And as I'm sure you can imagine, even here in Davidson County, we have the most in the region. So it's one of those things where we do ask people to help report these potholes so that we can know, um, because there's no way that we're going to be able to cover every inch of, of mile um, following a winter storm. TDOT uses a variety of methods to fill these potholes, and not all of them are long-lasting. So we'll talk about why they choose certain tactics coming up in the next half hour. In Nashville, Peyton Kennedy, News 2.